excited. Are you pumped for this, Diggity? I'm extremely excited. I can't wait to see these matches. All right, let me download the first set of replays. Downloading, downloading, downloading in five short seconds. I will have the replays. I don't actually know if uh, this is all the replays even. I don't know if they're still going or not because, once again, the games are being played pseudo-live. Uh, <laughs> the players started playing one hour before the cast started, and uh, we have been getting replays as the games finish. Now, let me see. Replays. Replays. All right, I do have some replays. They are not spoiled, so I'm going to go to my overlay. Making the game. All right, I have hosted. We are in say one for game number one. Diggity. If you would like Sorry to join about again. that. That's fine. That's fine. I All thought right. you were going into the, the video and I was like, shoot, I need to be quiet. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, no, he's asking me to join it. Yep, yep. I will go into the video shortly. I am being silly. But once again, we are in the grand finals. Ace versus scan i'm gonna give another shout out to the sponsors because they are the people that made all of this possible syz adrenaline from his representing his team aov elegant and mega shira also from team aov Aclis.net, which is a domain hosting website uh that game actually apparently used for something he personally recommends that so you guys should all go check it out kos templar from the bgh.com ten bagger who is a part owner of btc sportsbet.com where you can actually bet on this very finals so I actually don't know if like betting closes before the game starts or something. I don't know, but go check it out. See if you can bet. If you can, then bet. And like if you can bet in the mid game, might as well. Yeah, you know? might as well. It's like game started. You know who's gonna win. Bet. <laughs> last Easy but money. Not, last but not least, A one K one A four K one representing his team O D. Big thanks to all the sponsors. So, Diggity, are you ready? Let's do it. Let us do it. Game one, Ace versus Scan. go into game one on python ace versus scan ace will be spawning as the teal zerk in the top position and scan the purple terran in the left position the map is python which is in fact uh one of the set maps for the finals uh we do actually start off with three set maps after which the loser picks and for any of you who have not been paying attention this is going to be a best of nine an epic best of nine series to determine who will be the isl champion and win five hundred dollars uh the second place will get 250 so this is quite an important match so what are the three set maps just so i know it's really fun to and while he's looking that up i'm going to talk it's really fun to see this on python i think this is a good map to start things off on python the classic competitive map on IC Cup. Uh, special shout out to everybody who sponsored once again. It's just a classic map, period. Love it. And it it just really makes fun Terran versus Zerg play, period. Just uh, all out. And it's I, I'm really glad to see this as the opening map. 
Indeed, indeed, and uh, it seems like, aha, the first three maps are Python, which we're on right now, uh, second game will be on Matchpoint, and third game will be on Sin Peaks of Bake Do. and Ooh. after that, the loser picks from a map pool that includes Benzene, Bloody Ridge, Tau Cross, Destination, Aztec, Neo Medusa, and Heartbreak Ridge. So that is the selection of maps that we have for you today. And also, before anything too crazy happens in this game, I do also want to give a shout out to everyone else who made uh, this tournament possible. Of course, LRM Game, our lovely organizer and tournament host um, for doing everything, of course, uh, and all the other organizers, LRM No One, who's doing refing and other good things, uh, Joe Kim, and yes, Zero, who I believe did um, some counter abuse work and other things. Of course, Joe Kim also did the ISL player interviews, which you should check out. Uh, who else? Who else? Supernova Maniac for making that awesome intro video. Uh, Dan, numbers guy. I don't know all your numbers, dude, but you know who you are. Shout out to him for making a, uh, some other awesome hype videos. Shout out to Folon, Folon for making an awesome thread as well as um, being our our TL uh, liaison, shall we say. And I, I'm probably that. forgetting a million other people, but thank you to everybody. Thank you to Diggity for commentating with me. Yeah, absolute pleasure. I'm glad I could uh, hop in on this. And a special shout out to Joe Kim as well. He's actually a good friend of mine. And I've yeah, been doing StarCraft stuff with him forever, and it's good to see him hanging out in the Broodwar community and getting accomplished. Finally, seeing as they're going for uh, an expansion build. <laughs> which is really nice. Um, unfortunately, 9 o'clock location opening up for scan, a little bit more difficult to get the wall off, so had some interesting trouble with his initial building placement. Going factory first. So, wow, going mech on a Python. I should have noticed that earlier with that earlier gas. But I'm curious how he's going to play this out. This is definitely kind of counter the standard game, and now we are seeing what is standard on the opposite side from Ace. He's going for a three-hatch opening. Indeed, and I want to give one more shout out. That game reminded me of Hawaiian Pig for making uh, awesome graphics for us. So thank you to him. So back to the game. Uh, that's a I'm great name. Indeed. Hold on, Hawaiian Pig. That's such yep. an awesome name. He made the uh, the banners in our in our awesome threads. Oh, so, shout out to him. This is actually a really cool Sorry, wall. Go ahead. The one depot, one barracks, one factory wall. In uh, I think that's ling tight on like the right side as well, even though it looks kind of wide. So it's only that one gap. Actually, that back gap between the barracks and the factory. I'm not sure if lings can squeeze through there. I think they can, but I'm not 100% sure. Now let's see what uh, Ace is going to do in response to this uh, factory play. Wait a minute! I see two buildings. I see two starboards, ladies and gentlemen. We are opening up with two port wraith. That's right, that's right. If you saw the uh, round of eight match between Scan and Zeke, this is exactly the build that he did on Neo Medusa in what turned out to be an epic, epic game on that map. But oh, he's got to be careful not to let those links in. The Vulture will go out and uh, and do some poking. Now, also, there is actually quite a bit of history going on in this match that <laughs> I was going to talk about, but there has been so much to talk about in this game. Um, basically... Uh, Scan actually knocked out Ziki, uh, another Hungarian Zerg, in the round of eight and was actually quite a bit BM. But this Vulture, is he going to get in the base? There's a drone drill. Looks like he will get denied and only gets one Taken drone out. drill. But yeah, so <laughs> Scan knocked out Ziki um, and was actually quite BM in the last game, uh, which he actually later uh, he explained that that was a mistake and he apologized for it. But uh, hey. When you BM someone, it just doesn't go away that easy. So Ace uh, might be trying to get revenge for his uh, his Hungarian compatriot here. This is unfortunate because you have an overlord right near those starports, and it is not going. I was about to comment on how awesome the scouting was, but nope, not going to happen. Looks like that overlord just going to skip and miss those wraiths barely. And I barely, I mean by like a couple of pixels. Fortunately, a Hydalisk then up in the meantime with ha layer halfway finished. So he should have some Hydalisks out to help defend against these Wraiths as soon as they're in open field and they will not have cloak support. But that Vulture was really vital. It was it was there to provide some map control on top of everything else and buy some time. Um, but, uh, and I'm saying but a lot here. At the very least, those Overlords, very vulnerable. And this also could deny some of that information in open field. I'm curious how this is going to play out because Wraith is such a huge investment early. You have to get some drone kills. Yep, well, he's gotten one Overlord already. Looks like he's going to go into the main, get a second Overlord here. Um, Wraith's doing a lot of damage to those. And there we go, second Overlord going down. Might even get a third one. There's only one Hydra here to defend. Uh, is he getting any nice of the Hydra drone. upgrades? No, he isn't. Uh, will he be going for Muta instead? He does have a second gas up. He has quite a bit of gas, uh, although he is supply capped right now. Uh, no, he is investing in the Hydra speed. Okay, so just going for the Hydras. 
Yeah, I think actually hyperspeed's the way to go. He wants mobility with the hydralisks to be uh, to deal with the the wraith on multiple fronts to push them down because really strong micro there, really strong micro I have to say from scan. But the thing is, is as long as he gets a bulk amount of hydralisks out, as long as he has the range and the speed to work with, I I can't see without a, a well timed siege tank scan holding off a big hydralisk opening to follow. But I have, but he has patterned this build, so maybe he's accounted for this. Maybe he realized he's like, okay, I'm going to force ace into three hatch hydro, which is definitely not what he had planned on opening up with. Let's see what I can accomplish po uh, to follow this up. And Scan doing a really cool wraith spread along the bottom side of the map just to catch that overlord, in which he does indeed. Looks like ace poking in the front with a few lings, but I mean, there's a wall in there. There are a good number of marines, so nothing's going to happen. I think he might have actually been poking to see if a command center was being built. Um, because, of course, Scan might build it like right on the edge there to float it out, but there is no command center. In fact, there's a second barracks going down. Scan might be doing the transition into three barracks with a lot of Medic Marine, uh, which is a pretty wow. standard follow-up to the two-port Wraith build, and just go for a huge push uh, against Ace's, uh, Ace's base. Ace's base. Yeah. like it. Looks like Hydralisk range is upgrading. Unfortunately, I do the Academy just finishing. Overlord speed very nearly finished as well, and Scan is locked to one base play and against the two base zerg he's just going to be able to outproduce him as far as flat hydralisks and overlords with speed moving forward scv trying to get up and get a good look see whether the hydralisks are building in large numbers yet or if he can catch anything on position the really the wraith are going to be the key to this is the wraith forcing this hydralisk force back um and forcing him to, to move in that back position now let's see Waiting on uh, that range, and I assume, actually, I assume he should start moving out right this second, because he has Overlord Speed, he has Hydralisks, range will finish on the way. Um, I think he has a good opportunity to run up and do some, some major, major damage. Yep, and Scan continuing to do some fancy uh, <laughs> Wraith Micro in the main, showing Zergs that Muta Micro is not just for them. We can do some Wraith Micro too. Now, I do believe this bunker and turret at the front is because Scan was a little bit afraid of a Lurker attack uh, by Ace, seeing as he did have the Lair and the Hydro Den. But, uh, in fact... Oh, the high lurker attack, or <laughs> lurker upgrade, not lurker attack, is actually being upgraded right now. But Scan going in, getting a number of drone skills. Three drone kills there. Oh, missed a shot there. Wow, look at that. Scan's super goes to micro right here. But uh, Ace, with some nice hydro positioning, is trying to catch these hydro, or the wraiths as they leave. But they get an overlord, and they are now cloaked, so the hydras can do nothing. Overlord speed is finished, but drones are going down in large numbers. There's another overlord there that's just not doing anything. Overlord's coming in. Uh, Scan is going to avoid those and sneak out the back, having done a nice amount of damage. Yeah. Unfortunately, not enough Hydralisks left in the back position with the overlords at the forward. Apparently, I'm not communicating well today. This is giving an opportunity for Scan to go take his natural expansion. He's building up the resources. He's still economically behind, but look at the Hydralisks now pressing down. This is where those rates need to be right on top. It looks like they are back at the main, but not in large enough numbers to, to really significantly press against this. Now that bunker not finishing... That's huge. Scan still being isolated to one base. No siege tanks nearby to, to provide some assistance and too many Hydralisks to break through with Medic Marine alone. Also Overlords there just to provide additional support just in case the race pushing back. I think Scan, I'm sorry, I, I think that Ace can actually re-saturate his main is choosing not to do so at this stage. And actually, it looks like he's almost staging up for a, for a main drop there. I, let me check the... Uh, no, never mind. He doesn't have drop upgrading, so I'm almost kind of curious why he's spreading these Hydralis out, maybe trying to catch these Wraith in open, in open field. Yeah, but Ace is down to a really low drone count, suffering even more damage right here, losing two more, three more drones, four more drones. Oh wow. my goodness. And is he even going to get that overlay? I'm going to hide my overlay just so we can see this a little bit better. Now the race are, it looks like, getting pushed back by those Hydras. Even going to get a few free overlords here. Oh. Ace, not paying attention. Ace, going to lose three overlords for nothing. Now is down in the red. 46 out of 43 supply. Scan is up at 68, almost double the supply.